Hello and welcome back to the Entertainment Vortex. Today we are at Brendan Theaters watching Annabelle Comes Home. This has been a long running franchise at this point, which is kind of surprising to say considering The Conjuring came out in like 2012. But we have, I think, a total of seven movies in this franchise if you count the spinoffs like The Nun and The Curse of La Llorona. And some of them have been pretty big hits. The Conjuring is a modern classic and some of them have been big misses. Apparently The Nun was not a very good film at all. It's unfortunate to say that I feel like the first Annabelle movie is closer to the bottom of that list and I feel like this one is somewhere around that territory as well. There are some good aspects to this film. I felt like the acting performances were really well done. The three main girls that are basically being plagued by all the things that are happening in the Warren's house, they do a really great job and they give a great emotional performances and I felt like they were probably the biggest selling point. There were some creature designs that were pulled straight out of like actual folklore and I thought that that was super cool and it was an interesting touch for something that's supposed to be pretty centric around Annabelle the doll and I felt like they also tied in a lot of really cool easter eggs as well there were a few things for people who are fans of James Wan's work with DC and just fans of folklore in general those were things that I picked up on that I really enjoyed also the soundtrack while not really well tied into the actual theme of the film itself uh, I felt like they used some really great songs that they're things that like my parents listened to when I was a kid I really enjoyed having those little those little pieces almost kind of like a nostalgia to listen you know have those songs be featured in a film so breaking it down into some of the negatives it feels very very low stakes uh, there's not a whole lot that's writing on the activities that are taking place in the house because of that because of the small stakes it also makes everything feel super compact and super boxed in it al almost feels like a bottle episode from a television show where everything is shot in this one place and you don't get a whole lot of movement that's unfortunate it feels very compact and not in like a claustrophobic, like terrifying way, but just in kind of like a, hey, we didn't have a whole lot of budget, which wasn't true. They actually shot with a pretty large budget for this. While some of the creature designs were super cool, some of them were pretty rot and pretty boring, which is not what you're looking for in a horror film. Connecting this back to some of the films in the Annabelle part of the Conjuring franchise, what I really enjoyed about Annabelle creation was while there were some tropes and it did kind of fall into some of those like typical horror pitfalls, after a certain point, like once you get to that final third, it turns a corner into something that felt really new and fresh. And I was hoping that they were gonna be able to recreate some of that magic for this and it wasn't something that happened. The final third of this just felt like your typical like haunted house type story. I mean, there were a lot of things going on. It was very busy and it was something where they separated and joined the group, you know, in a lot of very predictable ways. While they showed some cool things, none of it felt super its own. It just felt like it was just going through the typical motions of a tropey, schlocky, haunted house film. That's not what you're looking for. Like I said, The Conjuring is a modern classic. A lot of people consider it to be one of the scariest movies released in the last 20 years, which I would tend to agree. It's, it's a great film. The first Annabelle movie does not stand up with that film. I feel like The Nun doesn't stand up with this film. The film that was just released also has some shortcomings. That's unfortunate. I still had a good time watching it. I did enjoy that they had some comedic moments and a little bit of flair with that. And I think that that's definitely a sign of the time. There's a correlation between comedy and horror. And it rides a a very thin line in between the two. And I feel like directors like Jordan Peele and John Krasinski have kind of shown that you can have some of that comedy with your horror and that motion between moving between laughter and being terrified. It's not a far stretch. That's something that I appreciate and I've been enjoying more and more that we've been seeing it over the last couple of years, but it wasn't enough to make this a great movie. Like I said, it's not a bad movie, but it could have been a whole lot better with a little bit more work. I'm gonna go ahead and give this movie a six out of 10. I'm glad I saw it. I'm gonna keep watching The Conjuring movies and hope that I get a big, like, modern classic like The Conjuring or I get, like, a sleeper hit like Annabelle Creation. If I don't get them, it's not the end of the world, but I would love to see more from this franchise. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We give you multiple videos every single week. And we have t-shirts available if you're interested in those as well. Those are available down in the description below. We hope you'll follow us into the Vortex. We'll see you next time.